Hi, I'm Dr. Tamar Sechkin. We are in Osaka, Japan, ISE 2007 annual meeting. I have a guest which is who is uh, everybody is familiar with, Professor Togas Tolandi. Today he's going to talk about myomies. He has a recent article in New England Journal of Medicine. The name of the article was is myomectomy obsolete? So it's nice having you here today. Thank you, sir. The title is Treatment of Uterine Fibroids. Is myomectomy obsolete? How did you get to this title? Uh, there was a paper in, in New England, actually. There, there was a paper that was about to be published. So the editor of New England Journal asked me to write an editorial on the same subject. So I thought, because they were pushing embolization, I thought this is a good chance for us to talk about treatment of uterine fibroids, whether myomectomy is obsolete. All right, I'm asking you the question again. Is myomectomy obsolete? It's not. Uh, is uterine artery embolization is an alternative option to hysterectomy. For myomectomy, myomectomy is still a good surgery for young females with symptomatic fibroids and who would like to have a baby in the future. The reason is uterine artery embolization is associated with increased premature labor, increased miscarriages, and maybe increase in postpartum bleeding due to placenta accreta. So women who want to conceive should be offered myomectomy rather than uterine artery embolization. And how about the new technologies coming up with respect to high-frequency ultrasound treatment of fibroids? The focus of the sound is still brand new. Uh, there was one side effect of skin burn. However, the, the, top, the procedure itself is still brand new. So we don't know how good it is, especially for women who want to conceive. Since, uh, as, a, as an endosurgeon and uh, myomectomy specialist, would you like to give some uh, experienced opinions about the techniques that you perform for laparoscopic myomectomy? Stitching, amount of trocars you use, I and know. In specimen removal. All right. I do three punctures for any surgery, intraumbilical and two uh, lateral secondary toe cores, for any surgery, including myomectomy. The criteria of myomectomy should be, depends on the, spur, on the surgeon's experience and preference. I think most people will take the criteria of myoma of more than five centimeters with a total number three. Depends on the surgeon. This is not surgery for everybody. Laparoscopic myomectomy should be done by surgeons who know how to do laparoscopy surgery. They have to do it like they do it by laparotomy. Otherwise, you might end up with uterine rupture. So suturing by laparoscopy is an expert, expertise that it is needed by the surgeon before they do laparoscopy myomectomy. How about bleeding control? Are you a pituitary favorite person, or you use other techniques for it? No, I use I use uh, vasopressin routinely, very dilute, one in twenty. Any complications with it? Uh, we had one bradycardia, which we published a while back, uh, but that's about it. But Every time you inject vasopressin, you should inform the anesthesiologist. And uh, your preference for specimen removal? Multiple, single, size, morselator versus colpotomy or laparoscopic assisted mini laparotomy? I do everything using morselator. And I use a 2 centimeter morselator from the right secondary toe cord. Uh, colpotomy depends on the size of the fibroid, it would be very difficult. And you might have to uh, morselate large specimen anyway. How about 
fibroids are very calcified. Very calcified fibroid is you need a good motor. Uh, so I'm using electric morselator, and the, mo the morselator is very sharp. How, how about necrosed and degenerated liquefied fibroids? Well, it, it, it's easier certainly to morselate. It's softer. Coming back to the previous question, uh, for an hysterectomy alternative, probably embolization is a, is good, a good alternative. Good and favorable alternative for many who doesn't want the surgery. Uh, for a fertility purposes though, myomectomy has an irreplaceable place. At for the, the moment, that yeah. at the moment I think myomectomy is still the best. And um, even if it's multiple in good hands, myomectomy is a good procedure. I think there will be coming new, uh, I saw an AGL is doing a new uh, study for multi-groups multi that are such, uh, giving their experience with uh, myomectomy pregnancies that have post-myomectomy pregnancies. Right. I think new material is going to be soon out there. Maybe I should mention that laparoscopic hysterectomy versus embolization. If you do embolization, 10% of patients will come back. And they might bleed again, they might have pain again, and they do require further treatment such as hysterectomy. If you do hysterectomy, that's the end of it. The complications are different. Complication of hysterectomy is post-op complication that we expect. Uh, complication of myomectomy could be bleeding again, pain again, uh, and that is later. So it's different complications. We expect the compl complication due to surgery for myomectomy 10%, sorry, embolization, 10% of patients will come back. So that's the difference. Last question. Uh, for our young endosurgeons from all over the world, who we aim to have members in the future and who are already, I would like you to give your advice how to improve your skills with respect to their future and the surgeons uh, and the surgery care career. From the myomectomy aspect, uh, aspect, you already said suturing, but there's a long, prolonged learning curve. Myomectomy is probably the most, if not difficult, technically difficult procedures in, in uh, endoscopic surgery. Tell them to cut their uh, learning curve. How can they do it safely? Laparoscopic suturing, as you said, is the most difficult technique to learn. So they have to start from maybe suturing ovarian cysts. Uh, start slowly, but also learn at home using uh, this black box. Learn how to suture. Uh, with time, they will get better and they will be comfortable. But not for everybody. Some people cannot learn suturing, no matter the how hard they try. Dr. Tolandi, thank you very much. Thank you, Tamar.